Down through history, Navy men have worn a variety of colorful uniforms. But today, the sailor's uniform, like his ship, has been scientifically streamlined. The blouse, a uh, jumper, is tailored of 18-ounce bat-dyed navy blue melton cloth. The cuffs and collar are of the same material. Uh, <clears throat> the cuffs and collar are... Oh, well, perhaps we better go aboard ship and have a look around. Well, here's Seaman Tarfu. He'll help us with our little uh, demonstration. Oh, yes, the jumper. The Navy man carries very little on his person. Therefore, the jumper has only the one small pocket, which, however, is adequate for all his personal effects. Hmm. The less said about a sailor's pants, the better. The jumper, although snug-fitting, was designed to be easily removed. Grasping the lower seam between the thumb and forefinger of each hand and exerting a gentle upward pull before our sailor boy can say, heave ho the mizzen mast, uh, heave ho the mizzen mast, heave ho the mizzen mast. There, it's off in a jiffy. Man your battle stations, man your battle stations. Navy craft are always kept immaculately clean. And whatever natural hazards may be encountered are always handled with true Navy efficiency. Navy traditions and ceremonies, the most colorful is that of piping the Admiral aboard. Another Navy tradition is that of growing a beard on long cruises, but it must conform to regulations. <clears throat> The regulation clearly states the hair, beard, and mustache must be worn neatly trimmed. The hair, beard, and mustache must be worn neatly trimmed. <laughs> and what is a sailor without a tattoo? Super Dreadnought boasts a completely equipped meter, uh, meter, meter, uh, weather forecasting laboratory. Hmm, wonder what the weather's gonna be tomorrow. Uh, 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 looks like a storm to me. Seriously, however, Navy equipment is the finest obtainable. And though a sailor must still take his turn at standing watch in the crow's nest, he has at hand the most powerful binoculars in the world enabling him to see through solid banks of fog, mist, and rain, even beyond the horizon. Fresh. In conclusion, of course, no picture about our Navy would be complete without some appraisal of the American sailor as a fighting man. Let's hear from a recognized authority on this subject. What'd you expect, sailor? The army made this picture. 